Hey, it's Geeky here, and today I am taking a look at the Transformers Combiner Wars drag strip figure. And here he is, as you can see. He is an indie car. Uh, I originally thought he was a Formula One car to begin with, but a little bit of research proved me wrong. So you see, and he's also cast in mustardy yellow plastic with some purple highlights on the rear spoiler here along the sides and on his nose cone. Nice black wheels in there as well with silver rims. Very rare you get a Transformers figure now with painted wheels. Chalk that up as a victory. He comes with three accessories. He comes with a foot hand and a sword. Sword gun. You can hold it like that. And it's a gun. Sort of like that as a sword. And a collector's card with some very nice artwork on it. Fortunately, it's just got nothing on the back. It would have been nice if the reverse side of the Decepticon Sun had Decepticon symbols on. But they chose not to. But yeah, I mean, you can put all these weapons on his vehicle mode. He's got two ports there to plug his sword into so you can. Now drive around cutting people's ankles off. And you can mount the gun hand on top using that port there. So now he's got a mounted gun on the top of his vehicle now. Which is all rather cool. Turn off there. I'll just take all these weapons off and we'll get into the limb modes first before we go to the main figure transformation. Now, um, put that that way. Yeah, there's quite a few ways you can actually do drag stripping the various limbs. Um, I th you can do the classic G1 transformation just by getting this out of there. Fingers. Need to pull fingers out. I'm not going to move the thumb. It's just a quick show. Plug in like that, and you've got a G1 shaped arm where it was just a car with a hand in the back. Still rather cool. To get to normal hand transformation, um, you just grab the nose cone here, pop that up. Spin that around, and that will tab into that peg hole there. And just move the head into there. Then bring out the arms here. You can leave them in like that if you want to, but the official translation is to get these out of the way. Just stick them up the top. Like so. Pull out like that, and spin that around. Spin around the hand. Oops. Get that by there. And there you have his proper arm. It has a nice elbow joint with a rotation, as well as the rotation at the elbow as well. And the hand can hold stuff as well as the peg, peg hole in there. So he looks like he's going to cut you with a bread knife. Yeah, rather cool. Now, transforming him into leg mode, you just want to collapse that back again. And move the put the arms back into where they were in vehicle mode. So they sit back where they were. And just move the peg up to the top. And folding in the hand there. Folding it back out again. Now, for the aerial bots, if you're going to combine it with the aerial bots with a, as a foot, this 
comes up like that. That'll plug in there like so. Because these the area bots aren't as tall as the cars in their limo, so you've got that. But I imagine with the rest of the cars, the stunticons, have it like that. So we're rather cool. So I'll just revert put the peg back in and return him to vehicle mode, then we'll get onto the main transformation. So the main transformation from bot to vehicle is pretty much putting the, the panel here back onto that, spin the head around, pull up the arms, the hands come out, eventually. Pull down the legs, spin them around, and split them, and there you have him in his robot mode. Let's get the position right. So yeah, robot mode is actually really quite cool. I really like the way it looks. I mean, there's very little kibble on the back of him, it's just the, the rear assembly, or the front nose cone and the front wheels. But everything else does tie your way onto him. Now you can mount the gun foot on him, you can have it on his shoulder as like a, a shield. Or if you prefer, you can fold this little thumb piece into the, like that, and you can stick it in his hand and now he's got a giant gun and you can give him his sword in the other hand. I prefer having that as a sword as a, a gun, it just looks a bit silly as a, a gun. But yeah he's really cool. Articulation wise, just stop the turntable, he's got ball jointed shoulders with lots of range, I'll just take these weapons out of his hand. There's lots of range on the shoulders there. There's also a swivel joint there for the transformation, so he's got a little extra. There is a bicep swivel, an elbow joint, as well as a little bit of wrist application for transformation. And he looks like he has wizard sleeves. Think of that what you will. He has a waist, waist joint, right, the transformation, ball jointed hips thigh rotation and a knee joint. And you could call this toe articulation as it moves up like that. Or if you want to you can make him short. Just make him look short ass. Like that. Oops. Yeah he's really cool. I like him. The head sculpt on this guy is really nice. There's no light piping but it's got a really nice head sculpt like a visor with fangs on it. The light's not really showing it that well. Probably why I haven't turned the other light on. There you go. Yeah, nice cool head sculpt, nice Decepticon logo there. Definitely a nice figure to have in your collection, especially if you're planning to get all the Stunticons and Menasaur, or if you just want to have them as a part of Ultra Prime. But yeah, he's really cool. I really like him. Definitely worth picking up. Oops. Stand on there. Nope. There. Yes, he's really cool, as I said. Definitely worth picking up. Okay, I've been Geeky Delicious. If you liked what you've seen, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.